What's going on everybody? This is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com You can see right over there What I'm demonstrating today is number one the use of a wireless mouse with your Microsoft Surface tablet I just wanted to uh, go over certain things on the desktop so here is my desktop this is where you'll find all of the Microsoft Surface applications your command prompt and so on if you're familiar with Windows you're fully aware of the control panel and folder options mainly file manager and everything like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in so I, I've had a few questions in regards to how do you check how much actual space you have on your Microsoft Surface when I first did my review my initial review I had stated that 12 gigabytes were dedicated to the operating system so here I'm going to my computer drive and you'll see right there that out of 24.9 gigabytes that I had initially after the installation of the operating system I now have 11.9 gigabytes left what you can do obviously is double click and browse through various folders what I'm having trouble right now is finding where exactly is all of those are all of those gigabytes because I'm gonna go back to the home to the home screen when I go to settings you can actually go to change PC settings down here you can go to general and when you scroll you'll see available storage it gives you the option to view applications that are installed in your surface tablet and from there you have the opportunity to view the size and see which ones you don't want for me I, de I deleted travel and financial so my biggest file is 251 megabytes and when I actually calculated all the applications that I had it was about two gigabytes so obviously there is something where I just cannot find how to uh, remove all that space or to get all that space back I have Angry Birds Star Wars Edition which is pretty cool gives a nice little twist to Angry Birds now here I also wanted to show uh, in my tiles in my home screen you'll see Facebook and Twitter you'll even see YouTube so what I did was and I got a message from my PS Vita video I did a while back so you're probably wondering especially if you're a surface owner or thinking about purchasing a surface you're hearing about the lack of applications currently there is no official Facebook application but because you can go on Internet Explorer and go straight to your Facebook uh, via Internet Explorer what I did was and I'm clicking the shortcut because that's all it is it's kind of like a shortcut slash bookmark that you can put in your surface home screen down here it gives you the option when you go to a website to pin it to your start screen and when you do that you'll get a little icon and that becomes a shortcut so let me go to my YouTube actually let me go to my Twitter because you see the Twitter symbol immediately it opens up Internet Explorer 
you see that Facebook is still here and now I can jump between the two I got a comment from my buddy Modeps and there uh, I set it up so that it goes straight to my interactions on Twitter and as I stated I could jump to either or so that's a nifty little trick by the way this smart cover keyboard uh, I can't imagine using the surface without it as far as applications yes there's a when you compare it to Apple and Android it's very mediocre as far as options and selection but they have thousands of applications here and I doubt that anyone will actually use all of these applications as far as social network applications because I use Twitter and Facebook a lot as I stated I could put them straight into my home screen via the Internet Explorer so the need for a social application for let's say Twitter is not that crucial for me anyway I do use uh, let me see if I can find it tweet troll which is a pretty good Twitter application and there you'll see my mentions so it's a nice layout it sticks with the Windows Surface uh, Metro. Now I've owned the Surface for a little over a week now, and I gotta say I'm still, I'm still truly satisfied with the purchase. Well, actually, it was a gift from my wife. Its build quality is unbelievable. I truly can't imagine. Uh, using another device not that I'm biased because I've owned the iPad I've owned the Nexus 7 uh, and there's other Windows 8 tablets out there but the sheer build quality of the net of the Microsoft Surface RT right now I don't think can be matched and that's what really impressed me is it for everyone well if you're into a lot of gaming on your tablet, I would say think twice about purchasing the RT right now because there aren't too many games. If you want to browse the internet, do some social networking, and do some productivity on the go, uh, the RT is something that you should truly consider. Yesterday I had to do my invoice for the Entertainment Consumers Association and I did it while I was at work. So here I have Dropbox as I was showing you earlier. You can mess around with bookmarks aka shortcuts from various websites and add them to your home screen. So my next video I'm going to do a little more with the desktop. I would like to uh, help people out as far as uh, with the Microsoft Surface RT give an opinion based on my experience as an owner of an RT uh, Windows Surface RT I know a lot of reviewers they've given this average reviews some people have bashed it if you haven't spent too much time with it really don't understand the potential and just how versatile the Windows Surface RT is. So what I'll do is provide video that will help current owners of the Windows RT and possibly convince other potential buyers that the Windows Surface is a viable tablet. It's not like the iPad or the Nexus 
7 or 10. It's a unique device. That, I don't want to call it a hybrid, but when you put in the keyboard, or you attach a keyboard via USB, it becomes somewhat of a laptop substitute. I'm not going to say replacement, because it still has restrictions, but it is extremely versatile. And right now, there is a lack of applications, but it all depends what type of tablet user you are. So let's think about that. So until next time, I am JBB from TalkingAboutGames.com. Talk to you next time. Jam on, rockin' everybody that screams. Jam on.